Hey there, it's Larry Larcy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a white background from an image like this, like a, uh, a black and white line art type of thing. I did a tutorial recently on how to add a tattoo to somebody, and I'll put a link up there if you want to check that out. But in the meantime, we need to know how to remove the white background and have it on a transparent layer. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that white background so that this black line art is just sitting on a transparent layer and we can put it on whatever we'd like. Before we get rolling, please take a second to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, like the video. I would sure appreciate it, but let's jump in. So when we have something like this, there's multiple ways of making a selection and removing this background. The easy way that is not going to work very well is let's go ahead and double click on this. Let's call it layer zero and let's just call this tattoo so we can stay organized with what we're doing. The easy way would be to select color range. We could just go up to select color range and we're just basically clicking here on this white and we're basically saying to select all the white. Hit OK. Hit delete. Let's unselect it there, and there we go. It looks really nice. It looks like we've done a really good job um, extracting this. The, we're on a transparent background now, and we just have the line art. However, if we try and drag this into another document, we will immediately see that it is not as nicely extracted as we had hoped. There's all this white fringe around the edge, which looks terrible. So that's not going to work for us at all. So let's go back here, drop back in my history and start over again. And here's the process we're going to do. It's almost as simple. First off, let's um, double click on this, call it Tattoo again. Got to stay organized. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer behind it so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to come right down here to this little circle and I'm going to hit Solid Color. And this is going to create a layer with a solid color, and you can make this whatever you want. We'll go with uh, like this bright red. Hit OK. So now we have a layer of red on top. We're going to drag this underneath. So it's solid red underneath. If I turn this tattoo layer off, I've just got the tattoo with the red underneath. All right. Hopefully you're still with me. So here's what we're going to do. First off, we need to zoom in on this art a little bit probably in about like that. That's about 300% for mine, but until we can get in really close where we can see that fringe. Then I'm going to come here to the layer. I'm going to double click, which will bring up this layer style. And what we're going to do is come down here under this layer, grab this little triangle, and start dragging it across. And you will see that there's that white fringing that was giving us trouble. Well, now it's starting to disappear. I'm going to take this to the left until I think all that fringing is gone. So in my case, it's going to be somewhere right around here. It may vary based on your image. Then I'm going to click the, I'm going to hold down the Option key or Alt on the PC. And while I'm holding that down, I'm going to click on this triangle again. Splitting those in two. The left side, I'm going to drag this way. And the white, I'm going to come back this way a little bit. I don't want those white lines to start showing up again. Right about there works pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. And let's zoom back out. Now we've got another selection. So time for the moment of truth. Let's drag this over to the other layer. We'll just grab the layer right here. Drag it on top of this document. And there we go. As you can see, this one does not have all the fringing. Let's go ahead and get rid of that bad one. Here we go. We come in a little bit. No fringing on it. So we've made a nice extraction. It didn't really take that much time. It's always easy when you're working with line art, but this way allows you to do a pretty quick method and still avoid getting all that fringing. And that is a pretty good job. Sometimes you'll need to go back and clean up little parts, but by and large, that takes care of your problem, and if you want to jump back to that tutorial on how to make this into a tattoo, you can click on that. Otherwise, if you haven't done so already, please like the video and subscribe. It would certainly be appreciated, and I will see you soon with more videos. Take care. Bye-bye.